Hello, beloved. This is Pastor Whipple from the historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church, and I want to officially welcome you to online worship. Whether you're viewing us live or on a replay, thank you for joining us on today. We invite you to share this video on Facebook, share it on our YouTube page, and always go to our website, mounthebron.org. Now, either during this broadcast or at the conclusion, I invite you to sow into this ministry. Find us on Cash App. Our cash tag is dollar sign M-O-U-N-T. H-E-B-R-O-N, number two, number six, number five, number one, or follow us on GiveLify at the historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church. Either way you're joining us today, thank you again for joining us. Share this video and get strength for your journey. Be blessed.
well, it is 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 well. Everything I'm worried about, it is well. Everything I want to bed at night, it is well. Everything I want to go out and pray about, it is It is well with my soul through the dangers, the tolls, and the snares we've already come. So we thank God for the hymns. We thank God for the hymns our ancestors wrote that reminds us how far we've come. Knowing the faith that has brought us safe thus far. The faith, the faith, the faith that the grace can take us even further. So God comfort every grieving heart in the house today. Allow us to know that. It is you who have made us and not we ourselves. God, truth be told, all of us are worried about something. But we thank God for peace. Yes, yes, yes. Like a river. Yes. Tennis to my way. Sorrows like sea. Billows roll. Whatever my life. For everybody in Mount Hebron, it is well. Yeah. With my soul. It's going to take this week, feeble, Monday, ordinary words of mine, breathe new life in the Father God. Make them thine. You get all the glory. We'll be satisfied with the blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Clap your hands right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Won't you turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, and as you're turning, won't you bless God for the baddest band in all of Baltimore City, amen. Won't you bless God for the Tevin, for the Dewan, for the Gary, these three brothers do an awesome job Sunday after Sunday, and we thank God for them. I'm in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, meet me at verse number 17. I'm in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians, New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, we made verse number 17, bringing out a new living translation of the text. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, down at verse 17, new living translation, on this heritage day, on this heritage day, text reads as follows, for the Lord is the Spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, the New Living Translation says, there is freedom. All right. Take your seat here. Take your seat. Tell your neighbor. Freedom papers. May be seated. May be seated in our house this morning. On this heritage day. On this heritage day. I want to talk about for a few moments. Freedom papers. Freedom. It is without question that the worst part of American history is slavery. Slavery, when white Americans enslaved Africans, brought them to America to work for free for hundreds of years, setting up generational wealth and white supremacy. The economic result of American slavery. It was only after, beloved, it was only after government duress that our enslaved ancestors were slowly freed. In addition, as our black ancestors were freed from American slavery, Sister Tamia, they were given a document. They were given a document to solidify that they were no longer in captivity. They were given freedom papers. Freedom papers, beloved, and, and certificates of freedom were, were documents declaring the free status of blacks. These, these papers were important because, watch this, free people of color lived with the constant fear of being kidnapped and sold into slavery, or watch this, sold, sold back into slavery. 
Freedom Papers. Freedom Papers prove, prove the free status of a person and serve as a legal affidavit. Man, manumissions and emancipations were, were, were legal documents that made official the act of setting a black person free from slavery. Here it is, by a living or even a deceased slaveholder. Let me come remind you that slavery was so deep that even though massa was dead, that child or the grandchildren can hold you as a slave. Please understand, please understand the after effects of slavery in America were wide and deep. After black slaves were free, they had to deal with the many faces of white supremacy. From discrimination in the housing market to discrimination in the house of God, Deacon Simmons, the objective of white supremacy in America was clear. For whites to be superior uh, to all other races and for all other races to feel inferior. Why, why are you talking about this pastor and on Heritage Day? Why are you talking about this pastor on Black History Month? Well, because if you don't know your history, you are certainly bound to repeat it. Repeat the fact that we are still the last one hired and the first one fired. Repeat the fact that the black woman is the least protected person in America. Repeat the fact that the black man is the most feared in America. So instead of respecting you, here it is, Brother Jason, they put you in a skirt and put you in a pink sweater and parade you on the cover of Ebony Magazine and call it art. Repeat the fact that drugs were planted in our communities by the government, but it only becomes a problem not when our children get high, but when their children get high and overdose from the same drug. You better know your history so you won't repeat it. I don't want to repeat that diabolical, treacherous part of American history called slavery. So, 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 once out of slavery, our enslaved ancestors, y'all, were given freedom papers. It was legal documentation that prevented someone else from capturing them and putting them back in the slavery. And when I look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, we get our spiritual freedom papers. That reminds me of the freedom we have in Jesus Christ. The scripture reads, now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, y'all know this version, there is liberty. The New Living Translation says there is freedom. We need to be reminded today of the simple fact that there is freedom. Here it is, beloved, don't you ever think. You can't start over. Right. Yeah. Don't ever believe you're so trapped that you can't get out. Don't fool yourself in believing this is the end all and be all. Don't you dare think it is what it is. And please don't begin to believe what people said about you. Folks' opinions change like the weather. Y'all yeah, yeah. know, beloved, in Baltimore, it was warm on Thursday, about 70 some odd degrees. Some of y'all wearing shorts, but then by yesterday, you brought that coat back out the closet and it was cold. I'm not going to be bound. I'm not going to be bound by the opinions of other folk. I'm going to be free in the name of Jesus. God's word assures me and declares there is freedom. Somebody shout freedom. freedom. So, 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 hit the backdrop to text y'all. Paul writes a note of freedom to the church in Corinth at the second part of his two part letter to encourage a church who is now operating in a new covenant. Dr. Taylor, in our humanness, in our flesh, in our desires, we messed up the first covenant. But because of God's unconditional love for us, God gave us a new covenant. Now, now Paul is directing us in how to be good stewards of a new covenant. Don't, don't mess this up again, y'all. And the good news is, on this beautiful Lord's Day, this new covenant with God comes with a sense of freedom. Please don't get it confused, y'all. This is not a sense of freedom for you to do what you want to do. No, Church folk love to say, this is my life. No, baby, your life is not your own. God yeah. gave it to you. Rather, yeah. this freedom is freedom from sin. It's freedom from yeah. death. And it's freedom from the condemnation of the law. And we must be good stewards of what God has given unto us. Here's a question on the floor, y'all. If God's spirit gives you freedom, mm -hmm. then why are you holding yourself captive? Let's be honest with ourselves this morning. 
Many of us are held captive by the prison in our own mind. That's right. That's right. Held captive by the decisions of our yesterday. Yeah. Held captive by the words of elders that we trusted but were betrayed by. Right. Held captive by regrets, nightmares, and failures. I don't want to be in that place anymore. God, I want to be free in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. So today, beloved, there's just one thing I want to show you in the scripture. One major thing, and I'm done. And that is, please write this down. Don't lose your freedom papers. All right, all right. That's good. Don't lose your freedom papers. Mm. Well, scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, mm. is a great reminder, here it is, y'all, of the presence of God and the position of God. My One more time, my note takers. It was a great reminder to the vow of the presence of God and the position of God. Your freedom papers. You already know God is omnipresent, meaning God is anywhere and everywhere at the same time. That's the presence of God. Praise God for the presence of God. Now, here it is. The position of God. The position of God is that God is spirit. God is a spirit. That's the position of God. And as a spirit, God is not solely confined to a box. God is not solely confined to a statue. God is not solely confined to a cathedral. God is not solely confined to a brick and mortar edifice. Let me come get you. God is not confined to Sunday morning at around 1145 at 2651 West North Avenue when you hear Kevin play your favorite hymn. God goes where God wants to go and in God's timing. So God's presence is omnipresent. God's position is that of a spirit. So God is not confined to our human limitations. God is free flowing and because of this God is freedom. Let me come get you. The same God who moves you through the hymn on Sunday morning is the same God who can heal a sick body in a rehabilitation center. The same God who sat with you in the church meeting is the same God who can touch your child in a crack house. The same God who blessed you when you were laid off is the same God who can bless you when you're going through illness. The same God who you got dressed up for on Sunday morning is the same God who can dry your tears in the midnight hour. Is there anybody here who can declare, I need that God in my life? And so, here's the importance of the text from the time it was written. Talk about freedom. Talks about freedom from the yoke of a ceremonial law and from the servitude of corruption. Uh, there, there were limitations, here it is, y'all, to who had access to God and for how long. Uh, twin church folk were so bougie, they would brag about who had access to God and for how long. So because, watch this, you're not a preacher. You ain't got access to God. They believe in the scripture because you couldn't sing the song of Zion. You ain't got access to God. But is there anybody here who can declare that I got access to God? I may not pray pretty great, but I still got access to God. I may not be able to say I can't hold a note if it had handles and direction, but baby, I still got access to God. Because late in the midnight hour, I know my God is going to turn it around for me. And I thank God that every time I call on the name of the Lord, the Bible declares those who call on the name of the Lord shall be set. I got it. You might as well over to your neighbor and shout, I got access. I got access. But now, but now, but now, but now, here it is. There is liberty to those who access God. Watch this. And freedom of speech and prayer for everybody. Not just a certain select group, beloved. Not an elite sect in the church. <laughs> here I like y'all, but it's free to all. It's a healing stream that flows from Calvary's mountain. The heart is set at liberty and enlarged to run the ways of God's commandments. You can't limit me to God. Here is boo boo because God never limits me to Him. Preach with me. You doing good? Here's the connection this morning. Since I'm free in the spiritual, I deserve to be free in the physical. You can't hold me back. Ain't no way on God's green earth I'm gonna be free to pray. Be free to worship, but scared to lead a house. The devil is a whole lie. Our 
you tired of it now, keep it up. Tired of the drug culture, huh? crippling the black community. Huh? Aren't you tired of it, Mount Hebron? Huh? Tired of our houses huh? looking like dilapidated war zones? Huh? Aren't you tired of it? Huh? Tired of food deserts in our neighborhoods? Huh? We can find a liquor store huh? before we find a grocery store. Huh? Aren't you tired of church folk huh? saying one thing and doing another? Huh? Let your word be your bond in the name of Jesus. Huh? Aren't you tired of seeing uh, successful black people, but we ain't got no black leaders? Uh, everybody I got a price tag, and ain't nobody got integrity. I'm here to declare today I want to be free, free from the opinions of other folk. I want to be free from the expectations of family members who are disappointments themselves. I want to be free from my internal demons. All of us are fighting something, so please don't have a YouTube bougie, YouTube cute, and YouTube hates. All of us are fighting some demons. I want to be free from my past mistakes and my present temptations. I want to be free uh, from police brutality. Uh, I want to be free uh, from institutional racism. Uh, I want to be free uh, from mental illness. Uh, I want to be free uh, from death, uh, hell, uh, and the grave. Uh, I want to be free uh, in the name of Jesus. Well, I, there's one more thing. One more thing is the word I learned from my research about freedom papers. For some, but some of my ancestors didn't get you. Mm -hmm. They weren't given mm -hmm. their freedom papers simply because of the law of the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But don't you know, Dr. Whipple, for some of our ancestors, they had to actually pay yeah. for their freedom papers. Right, right. Although the law said one thing, some slave owners weren't happy in giving up free labor. Right, right. So there were many enslaved Americans who had to pay for their own freedom. Let me come get you. When you see me free from my yesterday, when you see me free from what held me captive, don't assume nothing. I'm telling you ahead of time, I had to pay for this. I, I had to pay for this. Uh, I didn't just wake up like this. Uh, I had to pay for it. I didn't just walk into this this one day. No, I had to pay for this. Uh, there's a cost to this anointing. Uh, this title costs more than money. Uh, uh -huh, I had to pay for the title of parent. You had to pay for the title of grandparent. Uh, there were sleepless nights uh, and tiresome days. Uh, you had to cry yourself to sleep uh, and you woke up dehydrated. Uh, the responsibility uh, over my life is heavy. Uh, it they look good on Sunday morning, huh? but you don't know what folk goes through on Saturday evening. Huh? You can't do uh, what everybody else does, uh, and you can't go uh, what everybody else goes, uh, because the anointing uh, God got over your life. Uh, who am I preaching to? Uh, who can declare uh, this anointing over my life uh, costs more than money? Huh? You got to do uh, what God called you to do, uh, and be free. Uh, and in the name of Jesus, uh, I speak freedom uh, over this house. Uh, and I come against everything huh, that tried to hold you down on yesterday. Huh? I bind grief. Huh? I bind depression. Huh? I bind suicidal thoughts. Huh? I bind alcoholism. Huh? I bind jealousy. Huh? I bind pride. Huh? I bind unforgiveness. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? I bind poverty. Huh? I bind addiction. Huh? I bind anger issues. Huh? I bind generational curses. Huh? In the Jesus and not Hebrew. Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus, be free to be who God has called and created you to be. See, folk don't know what you went through in order to be free. I'm so glad you got on your heritage code today. I'm so glad you look good with your ass but is there anybody here who can declare I'm in hell I have their clothes on but I'm still covered by the blood of the Lamb there's power there's power there's power in the blood is there anybody in the Hebrew today who can declare this anointing over my life, it cost more than money, and it took me a long time to get here, so while I'm here, I'm going to take my time, you don't know what it took for me to get out the bed this morning, so while I'm here, I'm going to take my time, you don't know the hell I went through last week of my 
free. I'm free. Ain't nobody on God's green earth got the power to hold you captive. Not no church folk. Not no family member. Not no fake friend. I ain't got to go through nobody to get to the Father. I can go to him all by myself. And all for myself. Let me hands right here. I'm so glad to know, beloved, that salvation is free. Salvation is free through Jesus Christ and Christ alone. 